Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. So I thought, I've already done a walkthrough of this, and I did not do my um, tarot spread last night like I normally do on Saturday, because um, I went to sleep. <laughs> um, but I decided to go ahead and do, instead of a tarot deck this week, I would do an oracle deck and go in with what the one of the tarot spreads, or one of the spreads that's in the book. Um, and do a spread that way just because I just got this deck and I really am trying to bond with it and the cards are gorgeous. So let's look in here and see what spread there are in here. So I know I saw a couple in here. Yep. It's three card spread. We should actually do that one. Let's see what else we got. That's way too big. We did a four direction spread. So let's go ahead and do this spread. It is the three card reading. This three card reading can take you to the core of a challenge. If there's a specific area that needs attention in your life, the Sacred Force Oracle can assist you in understanding the best way to proceed. Choose three cards and lay them face down, left to right. Turn them over one by one to reveal the message from Spirit. So, card one is a blockage card. This card on the left indicates what needs to be resolved to clear the challenge. For example, if you get the B Spirit Prosperity card, it can mean you are blocked from the abundance and uh, flow of life. Card two, the healing card. The card in the middle is a spirit tool that helps resolve the obstacle rep represented by card one. If B Spirit is your blockage card and the card that you get to heal is a foggy bog, patience. This must signify, might signify that you need to relax and have patience instead of trying to fix everything or heal it all at once. Card three, the outcome card. The card on the right represents how the situation will be resolved if you follow the act advice given in the previous two cards. Using your own sample example, using our same example, if you pulled ancient oak spirit strength, this could mean that you'll gain profound inner strength and abundance B spirit provided that you are a patient foggy bog so it's a variation for the three card spread and you could do past present or future also but i like the um, blockage healing and outcome card so let's go ahead and do that and i already did my week ahead spread today i'm uploading it now sorry i had to take a drink because i was talking a lot in that video so what I'm going to do is kind of take a deep breath, um, kind of do a quick meditation, ask my guys to come in and work with me through the cards to give us some, give us some information here. And I think I just saw one flipped over. Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. So bear with me. I'm going to do a quick meditation here. So we did one fell out for the blockage and then that one fell out for the healing and then the other one is outcome card so we're gonna we're asking for an outcome card now okay <laughs> I'm gonna put that there all right so Let's get into these, and this is probably going to be a little bit quicker than it normally is. So for the blockage card, I have Butterfly Spirit and Transformation, and that totally just smacked me in the face. <laughs> um, and I, again, these cards are just phenomenally gorgeous, um, but and I didn't think that I would have like an interpretive 
intuitive in, hit on that. And as soon as I flipped it over, I'm like, yeah, I feel like I'm being called out. Because I've started the spiritual journey, like, almost, it's been three years since I've started my spiritual journey. And... I was always complaining. I'm like, I feel like every time I take a step forward, I take two steps back. And I'm always trying to play catch up with this whole spiritual journey I'm on. And then I realized I'm a procrastinator. I'm lazy. Um, <clears throat> and it's taking a while for this transformation to occur because I don't like change. So anytime something feels weird or different to me, I stop it. And then I would, com I'm complaining that, you know, my journey, my spiritual journey is taking forever. I'm not where I want to be. Well, that's why, because I, every time there's any kind of change, which is what transformation is about, which to me, what this card represents transformation, um, I stall it out on purpose. <laughs> and I've noticed that this year, uh, more than any other year that I've started this, but, um, that's totally what I'm seeing in that. Um, so I'm anxious to see what the book says on that, but that's, um, yeah, totally makes sense for the blockage. And I feel like that's where I'm at now. I'm in like another stall out period. So for the next card is the healing card. I get the forest temple and enlightenment. <laughs> and those two go hand in hand because if you're allowing this transformation to take place, of course you're going to have enlightenment at this point. Um, so that makes total sense to me. <laughs> oh, wow. I do feel like I'm being called out hardcore right now. And then for the outcome card, Wild Rose Fairy. And of course it's love because that has been my entire context of my spiritual journey. Self-love, self-care, um, heal your mind, heal your soul, heal your body, um, take care of yourself, love yourself and all these things will fall into place. And so I find that quite fitting for that. And our, I just got to say, aren't those gorgeous cards? I mean, they're gorgeous. So let's see what the first one says. <laughs> Card eight. Oh man. I got called out in my reading, I feel like, a while ago, and now I got called out in this. So, wow. And each little one, uh, each card comes, it doesn't have a picture, but it does come with the a couple little pages here, which I'll read. So, for the first one, the Butterfly Spirit Transformation. In the sacred forest, you can hear their approach before they arrive. Listen, it's the song of butterflies. Their melody trails behind them in ribbons of luminescent lights as their delicate gossamer wings flutter in a kaleidoscope of sound, color, and delight. Magic is afoot. You receive this card when you are in the process of change. Old structures, beliefs, and ideas are falling away to be replaced with vitality and new pathways. <sighs> yeah. Soon you'll be seeing the world in a fresh way. You're at the beginning, in the middle, or at the completion of an enormous transformation in your life. I feel like I'm somewhere in the middle. Don't hold it on to old structures and limited ways of thinking. And i that's part of what stalled me out on this because I try to hold on with all my might because I don't like change. <laughs> Even if it looks as if you're in a murky waters and things feel feels confusing. And, and even if it seems that everything is dissolving around you, this is only the clearing that occurs just before rebirth. It's all for your higher good. Remember, you are safe as these changes occur around you. The butterfly is a powerful metaphor for transformation. For it to gain its wings, the caterpillar must weave a chrysalis and then completely dissolve into a kind of liquid soup before reforming into the shape of a butterfly. Enzymes dissolve all of its tissues before it metamorphoses into something completely different. So relax into the changes. You are bringing vibrant energy into the world. Wow. Well, the spirit of the butterfly says the past is behind you. <laughs> Everything is changing. It's time to launch a new cycle, a new project. With care, miracles can abound. Wow. That whole thing just gave me chills. Craziness. Um, and then we have 19. 
forest temple enlightenment. The sound of delicate chanting fills the forest. You follow the sound as you walk down a meandering path into a small clearing. Before you, a forest temple becomes visible. As you get closer, it feels that the chanting is penetrating deep into your soul. Again, with the soul. I just had a reading and it was all about the soul. <laughs> um, something seems to be shifting within you. Everything is the same, yet everything is somehow different. Meditate on the light within you and around you. Connect with ever with the ever-present energy of the divine. Right now, you are your awareness is increasing. Your ability to understand the world is shifting. More and more, you can see situations from all points of view. And this creates an expansion in all parts of your life. This card can also reflect times when you are seeing the world from only your personal point of consciousness, which is dramatically restricting possibilities for you. A one-sided adamant view of life can block a vast influx of light, joy, and connection to the Creator. Strict adherence to your beliefs can obstruct wonderful opportunities from flooding your life. Be willing to step outside your limited points of view and see the world from the other's perspectives and your life will expand. In temples throughout the world, initiates withdraw from their surroundings in order to gain and expand perception of the inner reality of life. Intuition and healing abilities emerge during these times. Light is flooding into your life now. With enlightenment, you'll feel the expansion from a limited sense of self to an awareness of the cosmos around you. The spirit of the forest temple says positive changes are coming. You are lightening up, feel buoyant and free. Your connection to spirit is deepening. Old beliefs about you who you are and what you deserve in life are falling away transformation and replaced by incredible new paths wow that's amazing and that's my dog ah so then we go to 47 wild rose fairy if you can see her good she's beautiful the scent of the wild rose is heady the perfume fragrance swirls around you and flows directly into your heart with each inhalation your heart opens even wider and deeper the soft pink color of the petals contrasts with the dark shiny leaves fluttering among the blossoms is a kaleidoscope of butterflies butterflies magic is in the air love is all around you open your heart to receive all of life's experiences are a splendid part of a spiritual evolution toward the realization that we are all love in matters of romance, there is healing right now. You are a sacred vessel for love to flow through you to others and to the universe. Healing has occurred. Healing is occurring. Healing will occur. Your angels, guides, spiritual guardians, and allies adore and cherish you. If only you could see yourself the way those in spirit see you. You would know how profoundly and deeply loved, cherished, and adored you are. Be open to allowing the Creator to solve your challenges in wondrous ways. Trust that everything is unfolding graciously and perfectly in your life. The opposite of fear is love. Allow fear to dissolve as love expands. This book is amazing. <laughs> so the spirit of the wild rose says, you are more cherished than you are, can possibly know. Open your heart to receive. Love is on its way. You are in an eternal vessel for love to flow through you are enough just as you are wow that is amazing so this was pretty heavy guys <laughs> um if you guys have any questions comments concerns don't hesitate to comment below um if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you want to see more please subscribe and you guys have a good night bye